The end of the year can be tricky. You may be winding down after Thanksgiving and prepping for the next holiday. You may also be finishing your 2020 goals and prepping for your 2021 goals. If not, it's okay, no judgment. I know that sometimes it can all feel very overwhelming. So in this week's video, I'll discuss the Chinese concept of yin and yang and how to use yin and yang in your home and life so you can gracefully close out 2020. Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City. It's the end of the year and we all need a little help in managing the last few weeks with the gas or what I like to call the energy or chi that we have left in our tanks. That's where yin and yang come to the rescue. So what is yin and yang? In Chinese metaphysics, the very important concept known as yin and yang originated in the Taoist religion. You may have seen this symbol before. If you take a look, the yang is the white area and the yin is the black area, and people usually refer to them as opposites. But if you look more closely, you also see there's a dot of white in the black and a dot of black in the white, which means that yin and yang are not opposites, but more in harmony than we think. And since we need a little bit of each in each other, it's great harmony and balance, and we like harmony and balance in feng shui, we need to master it. Yang, the white area, is considered the dominant energy. It refers to the sun, daytime, summer, heat, outward energy, assertiveness, the male gender. In feng shui real estate, we like living rooms, family rooms, and playrooms to be more yang, since they can be used for people outside of our own family, and it's okay for those areas to be more energetic. Yin, the black area, is considered the quieter energy. It refers to the moon, nighttime, winter, cold, inward energy, or what I like to call the receiving, the female gender. In feng shui real estate, we like rooms such as bedrooms, meditation rooms, men or woman caves to be more yin, darker or private so you can feel calm, you can sleep better and replenish your energy. So how do you use yin and yang in your everyday life? Today, I'd like for you to think about how this year has been. I don't know about you, but 2020 has been challenging to say the least, and it's taken a lot out of me. I've had to learn new ways of doing and being, which takes up a lot of chi or energy. You've may have done a lot of yang activities, such as cleaning and organizing your home from top to bottom, learned new skills, and became the best chef and teacher assistants there are. May have also done a lot of yin activities like slept in, rested more, meditated, took time for family and reflection. Again, no judgment on how you move through 2020. After speaking to many of you and also paying attention to my own energy, I've come to the conclusion that we are burned out, literally feng shui toast. But still, many of us feel guilty or bad about slowing down. Now here's a little secret for you. It's okay to slow down and use yin for rejuvenation. It's actually recommended during this time. Winter is a yin season, dark and cold, and makes us feel like we want to go inward. Follow that energy. Remember that white dot on the black or yin side? It reminds us to keep balanced and not to be extreme. For example, if you usually do a strenuous workout every day, which is very young, Take a break, but don't become a couch potato. Balance the break or the yin time with a white dot, perhaps by doing some restorative yoga and see if your gas tank doesn't get refilled. If you don't take time to rejuvenate in this yin time, your body will automatically do it for you. Unbalanced chi causes physical and emotional issues, so be proactive and manage your energy on your own terms. So there you have it, the ancient yin and yang symbol demystified for you. Use the energy of yin and yang in your home and life to stay balanced, grounded, and guilt-free. Now go lay down. Just kidding. But yeah, really. <laughs> Tune in next week for more feng shui real estate tips. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. Did you like this video? Please subscribe or leave a comment or question and see you next week.